Hi, my name's Alistair Chapman, and in this video, I'm going to take a look at the Crozial FX6 accessory kit. Now, the Crozial FX6 kit includes a very nice base plate, purpose designed for the FX6. So, this is specifically for the FX6. Very nice with a nice, soft, comfortable, and highly adjustable uh, shoulder pad. Takes standard lightweight 15 rods. There is also in the kit a top cheese plate and again very nice very lightweight very well made and I'll show you how you put that on the camera so a really nice little uh, top cheese plate and as well as that it includes a handle for your hand grip so the hand grip simply comes off the camera and then attaches on here really quick and easy to use and this is lovely and adjustable so we can have different lengths and again weighs very very little indeed and you also get an extension cable for the remote connector to plug that hand grip in. Now as well as the FX6 kit I'm also going to take a look at this. This is the Crozial Quick Lock Plate and this is a replacement for the normal Sony VCT type quick release plate. You can use this with any VCT type base plate, not just with Crozial ones, and it has some really unique features about it that make it quite different. Uh, and the main one really is being that the way this clamping mechanism works is far more secure and far more rigid than an ordinary VCT plate, but we'll look at that in a minute. So let's have a look at that FX6 kit. So what do you get in the Crozial FX6 kit? Well, you get a top cheese plate for the Sony FX6 camcorder. You get a base plate with an adjustable shoulder pad, really nice shoulder pad, actually nice and soft. And you also get an arm to mount your hand grip remotely from the camera. And actually the kit also includes an extension cable for the hand grip to plug into the camera that further away from it. You also get a Ari style rosette that attaches uh, in here and you can fit that if you want to put the arm directly onto the camera if you're not using a base plate. So lots of options there. So starting at the top with the cheese plate, the top plate is very easy to fit to the camera. It just slides up here into place around the existing handle and then four screws just secure it in place. You don't need to remove the top hand grip or anything like that so it doesn't interfere with the GPS functioning or anything like that and it gives you lots of quarter 20 and uh, three quarter inch uh, mounting points for all your accessories and, and things like that. Very very simple item really but it's very very well made and it's incredibly light actually. It really doesn't weigh very much at all. Coming down to the base plate, well it's a fairly standard VCT type base plate, although you can change the fitting that's under here to mount it to different to a, to a flat plate or mount it directly to your tripod. At the front, we have the usual two holes for lightweight 15 rods just here. You can see the light, lightweight 15 rods go in there. The rear of the base plate has a number of extra mounting points for brackets and accessories, as well as an adjustable plate here. For your 15 millimeter rods. The shoulder pad can be adjusted forwards and back and there is a very wide range of adjustment, very easy to adjust and once you've found the position that you're happy with you can lock it in place with that little adjuster there very easily, very quickly. Either side of the camera we have an Ari style rosette and of course on this side of the camera this is where we attach the arm. We can see that there is a good adjustment range so it's very adjustable. We can adjust it up and down by loosening it on the rosette like that but you also have a nice quick release here and we can adjust it like that as well. So a very big range of adjustment on the arm. Now this actually the hand grip itself attaches via there's a little stud here on the back of the arm that you see there and if I pull that out 
I can then rotate the hand grip around to release it very quickly, very easily. And then I can reposition my hand grip back onto the camera body. Now that's the FX6 kit from Crozial. The other thing I want to look at in this video is the Crozial Quick Lock plate, which I'm using here. So I'm just gonna remove the camera from the plate. So release the lever, camera just lifts away. You'll see it's quite different in design to an ordinary VCT plate. When I close the handle here, you'll see that this fork moves forwards and this clamps the wedge that's on the bottom plate of the camera very, very securely. And also at the same time, this stud at the back is retracted. Now to put the camera onto the quick plate, we simply place it on the plate like that. And then as we do up the lever, you'll see it pulls the camera forwards until it's locked. And there is absolutely now no movement whatsoever between the camera and the base plate. It's incredibly rigidly locked. Now this quick release plate, the quick plate, is expensive, I will say that. It is not a cheap item, but it's beautifully made. It's one of those things that once you've got one, because so many cameras and so many base plates use the VCT fitting system, you'll probably use it for many, many years. It works with any base plate, whether that's the VCT fittings on the bottom of a Sony camcorder, or a base plate from another manufacturer that would normally work with a VCT quick release. So it's not specific to Sony, or sorry, not specific to Crozial base plates. So you can use it with a lot of different cameras and everything else. But the level of security and rigidity that it gives you is way beyond what you would have with a normal Sony VCT plate. So it's a really good investment because it's something that you would use for years and years to come. Um, so it is, I think, worth paying that bit extra. And in fact, I really wish one I'd got one much sooner because of that solid, solid mounting that it gives you. So that's it, really. The Sony FX6 kit, cheese plate, base plate, and arm for your hand grip, as well as the Crozial quick plate.